Happy birthday! Here, this is for you. I've collated legislation from all the nations. You're planning to go traveling, right? It will serve you well to familiarize yourself with the laws of the different lands. Don't study too hard, mind you, or else I won't be of any use to you. Kitsune Saigu said that she was going off on a long trip, and she's never been back since. Oh. <sighs> At the time, I wasn't the least bit inclined to take on the burden of managing the Grand Narukami Shrine. So she told me that as Guji, I would be able to eat all the fried tofu I desired. As if that would be a convincing reason. That woman spoke so much nonsense, honestly. She could be so insufferable. Ah. <sighs> That girl. She used to be the kind of person who could easily be swayed with some fried tofu. Oh, by the way, did you know that without human manipulation, you would need to harness the power of a sun eight times the size of our own in order to naturally create gold? How did the destroyer of the wine industry become the cat's tail's mascot? You're asking this just to make fun of me! Ooh, you're awful! I won't be giving you any more drinks, not even water! You're a good person, but I'm a bad girl. Once I'm out of solitary confinement and I'm done reflecting on my actions, we can go play together again, okay? She hardly has any fancy kimonos in stack these days. But the Sakuku decree's been abolished. She should be able to import silk from Liuhe now. Um, so, um... What I'm hearing is you want me to pay for your new wardrobe. Paimon was thinking seven different one for each day of the week. Uh, suddenly, I'm not so interested in buying. Ugh, I need a nap. If there aren't any urgent matters, I'll excuse myself. <laughs>